for it. First, we're going to stick to what we're doing here. Which is going down to this area and loading up on Ruby. So we don't have to worry about that again. The floating island, we're like below it now. So we'll, we'll check the floating island here in a minute. Get the Cyclops? We're going to. Yeah, I need to get one more hull fragment for the, uh, the Cyclops. And then we'll be getting that faux show. Alright, here we go. I think there's some Ruby down here we can get. Yes, we got the failed rescue attempt on the first island, and we did that entire thing. That's all done. That's all done. Seek fluid intake. Wait, what did it just say, detected? Oh, don't worry about those. There's eight. There are 19. Got everything here. There's more Ruby. Great, great, great. There's more. Loading up on the Ruby. A lot of light pod signals are based on your capabilities. Get better tech to go deeper and usually you get more options to you. Well, we'll keep doing it, man. We'll keep going. I ain't, I ain't stopping the, the tech upgrades, that's for sure. That weird vent thing. Is it more there somewhere? Maybe. Great. Hmm. We about rubied out? Eh, a little bit more on the walls over here. Oh, here we go. Good. Hell yeah, here we are. Man, I keep confusing the ruby for the fish. Little jerks. I need to be a little bit careful here. Inventory full. We can fix that. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay, let's go put some of this stuff back. Just because I'm a jerk. Um, the pink balls in the bottom are aerogel. Oh, I know. We're, we're already growing that back in our base. Thank you. We are good on that, though. We are good. We are good. I thought I installed two containers. Oh, is that one? Oh, that's one right there. Okay. Okay, uh, blood oil samples? I don't have blood oil samples. The Degasi base is in the cave system under the safe shallows. Okay, I don't know where those are either. I'm not good with the biomains, unfortunately. Um, let's go, so, the PDA you're looking for is in a cave. You go from the middle section and find a path to the top section where the small pots are. Okay, thank you. So, I think the cave you're talking about is the underwater cave that we get um, unlocked from the, the other island, the Rendezvous Survivor Point. So let's move from there to the top and see if we can do something with that. Safe Shallows is where you started the game. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. And it should be like over here. So there's a little, uh, there's like a, a little place you can surface in the middle of the island. We're going to go up from there. We'll also go back to the first, um, we'll go back to the very first life pod and look around there for the jelly shroom caves. Because I don't remember where those are, to be honest. Is it over here? I think that's it right there. Huh? 
So here's where we came up. And we found a thing on the beach here. So what I'm hoping is that if we can find a way up from here, hopefully this is where the other PDA is. Keep your eyes peeled, chat. I need your energy. Hmm. Oh no, my power's low at my second base. Power's fine in our main base. Well, dang it. Alright, so I, I think I probably already messed it up, unfortunately. Hmm. The PDA is on a pathway near the edge of the island. Oh, so it's not from the center. Okay. Jerk. Okay, none on this side. Let's keep moving. The PD is on a pathway near the edge of the island. Okay, yeah, I got I got that much. Oh, it's getting dark. Unfortunately, it's a pretty big island. And there's three bases on it. This doesn't look right. No, I'm actually going on the outside of the island. I don't think this is what chat meant. Hmm. There's a cave system right there. That's a weird looking plant, whatever that is. I need to find a beach to get back up. Yeah, you like that awesome path that I carved out? Oh yeah, dude. Just call me Co the Explorer. Luna Kara, yes, we're playing Persona 5 tomorrow afternoon. And it's going to be my very first look at the game ever tomorrow afternoon. So we'll we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Play my ocarina to reverse the moon. A, a great tip. A great tip. Yes. Right now I'm I'm good with the position of the moon, but thank you. There's got to be a beach somewhere. Ah, here we go. Maybe we can get up here. Maybe? Eh, maybe not. Huh? Oh, hell yeah. Huh? Okay. That's some Skyrim level horsing right there. I'll take huh? it. Huh? That's not gonna work. Huh? Huh? Oh, hell yeah. All right, so let's not fall off the side again. That sounds like a good plan. Um, we're now we're up above that central area we found. So let's see. We're gonna make sure we follow these paths. Mm. It's gonna be a PDA near the side of the island. Sure, we'll take some of these. Huh? No huh? one here is going to need them. Lulz. Huh? Huh? Wow, this is a lot of running. Yeah, I mean, this is a big island, dude. This is a big island. And there's all sorts of lore and stuff huh? on it that we've already done. gotta find this PDA because it's gonna kind of link the things we're doing right now and I would very much love to do that oh maybe this goes down to the beach it does but no PDA 
So I think we're looking for a path like this, and the PDA is just gonna be like sitting on the floor. It's the path near the lowest base. Okay, thank you. I think we're actually close to the lowest base right now. Actually, maybe on the other side of the island. I wish we could keep our flashlight out when we were running. That'd be super handy. Uh, okay, another little area here. Thankfully, the PDA should glow. So, the PDA should kind of just stick out like a sore thumb. Especially if it's night. What exactly am I doing right now? Right now, we're looking for a PDA that I missed on this island, and we're hoping that this specific PDA will lead us to the first of many underground um, connections. The, the first underground place we're looking for is a research base, and we don't have the location yet. But uh, I'm hoping this PDA will give us that location, or at least tell us where it is. And, um, and at that point, we can start kind of exploring the underground bases, which are a, more than a couple of, from what I understand. But the problem is, we have to find this one PDA that tells us about them. Because in our playthrough right now, we haven't found them yet. And I have no idea where they are. So, we gotta find this PDA. Which is somewhere on this island. I'm trying to find right now, there's a couple bases... And if we find the central base, we hopefully can kind of work backwards from there. Let's take a look down here real quick. Okay, that's clear. There are two bases in the mountain on this island, one on each. I don't think you got the second one yet. There, Well, from what I understand, there's three bases total. Well, there's technically... There's four objects of interest total. There's two bases on top of each of the mountains, which we've been to. There's the one, there's one of them right there, and the other one's up there. And then there's one base in between them, which I actually think we're coming around the corner of right now. Yeah, then there's this base in the center. And then there's also an alien gate inside the area on the bottom. And um, I think that's it. I don't think I've been this way yet. Ooh. Signal location uploaded to PDA. You see, Chief, you brought us to this sodden planet. Told us we'd see a lush payday. Now what do we got some six weeks later? A dead crew, a habitat that's half buried, food washed away. I suppose the executive decisions would be better left to someone with your extensive experience of hitting people in the face. I know enough not to take unscheduled detours to uncharted planets. That's something you don't want to learn the hard way. Easy to judge a decision in hindsight. Harder to come up with a plan of your own. Got one already. Take what we can carry and hunker down in a cave somewhere. I scouted a site, a couple hundred meters deep, lots of metal deposits. How do you imagine we'd live? With ready access to building materials, like damn queens. A couple of water filters, a bioreactor, fresh fish. But Chief, we'll eat seaweed salad and drink our own urine if that's what it takes. All that matters is, do you got something better? Send the coordinates to my PDA. I'll review your proposal. Okay. Okay. Boom. Degasi Habitat. Let's go. I think it'd actually be faster to huh? swim to our Seamoth. I think we're just going to go straight there. We got some room in our inventory. So, yeah, we're just going to go right there. We're good on food and water, too, since we ate here. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. Did it unlock an area? It unlocked a waypoint, which is basically just as important. Um, so that that is definitely where we're going now. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. The Seamoth power is low. Yes, it is. 
thank you. And does this, I'm, I'm assuming the pinging takes a lot of power, right? Yeah, it takes like a power per, okay. We'll have to keep that in mind. Worst case, I can just ferry out a new battery. We've got tons of them. Damn, we're like, I can almost see the base. I think that was a light from it just a second ago. We're pretty close. In fact, maybe we should just go over there and drop stuff off. Let's just do that. Yeah, we're, we're like right next to the base. Let's just go drop some stuff off real quick, get cleaned up. And then we'll also recharge this. And that way we can come out here and uh, ping all we want. Boop. Might as well drop off all this ruby anyway. Save? Oh, yeah, good call. There you go. Hey, Anacio, how you doing this morning? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Dunk. Good, looking good. I got the ruby for what now? It wasn't me. Someone else did that. What do we need the ruby for again? Oh, the MK3 upgrade. That's right. That's right. Hey, thanks, Gamer Rocco. Appreciate that, man. Last egg hatch? Mm, I think it did. What new fish did we get? Huh. It's in there somewhere. I don't know where though. Cool. Maybe it's hiding. First things first, uh, let's look at this Mark III dive. Just need a Plasto ingot and a Seamoth depth module. Did we get the Plasto ingot yet? Oh, I thought we did. Looks like we didn't. No, we didn't. Okay. Uh, let's put this stuff in here. Drink some of you. I don't know what this is. We're going to put that in there. Okay, Ruby we'll put in here. Mm -hmm. Throw you in there. I do need some power. Yeah, in fact, you know what? Um, I think it might be time to do this. Hold on a sec. First of all, this, because this is really, really important. This is possibly the most important thing we're going to do all game. And by probably most important thing all game, I mean really it's not that important at all. Nice. 
We'll do the whole Antarctic stuff later. Boop. Great! Oh, it looks so much better. So much better. Ah, oh, yes. All right. <clears throat> It's gonna look so good when it's done. So good. So good. All right, uh, how are you looking? Oh, you are inactive. Let's go ahead and fix that. working. That's what's important. Alright. Uh, what do we need for this? Oh, we could totally do that. Aerogel is this and a ruby? They didn't say this life would be easy, chat. They didn't say this life would be easy. Huh. Okay, well. Hmm. I thought that we could place it right on top of the... Maybe not. We need like a collector's shelf or something. We'll do that later. Do it again, do it again, says Bueno. Oh, that's rude. I mean, we gotta get our bed built too. This is this is our future bedroom right here. So let's go try that again. Hopefully this time it's a little bit less suck. Oh! Okay, so if I build the thermal generator like right here, is that gonna be okay?
Actually, we're gonna need to get some more titanium. Oh, we got a new radio thing. Nice. Will that connect? Oh, it actually shows the connection. Oh my. Okay. Wait, what? That didn't connect it to the base already, did it? Holy shit, it did! Wow, are you serious? So are we just getting powered now? I think we are. Yeah, 825. Damn! Awesome! Okay, well that was easy. Very cool. Let's go over here. Nope, 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 nope. Over here. Okay. This stuff is coming up to my lab. Copper run soon. Need more silver too. And titanium. Can't have like a table? Like an actual table? Oh my god, I can build. Oh my lord. How do I erase the blueprint? <laughs> um. Hmm. Fiber mesh. I think I have some of that. No, I have silicon rubber. How do I make fiber mesh again? Oh yeah, just two creep fine samples, okay. This is life pod two coordinates attached. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Signal oh, no. location uploaded to PDA. Oh, we're gonna have to do that. We're gonna have to do that. Okay, quick detour. Actually, no, we can do that later. We can do that later. That's fine. We'll we'll do we'll do the other one first. I can name my lockers. Can I? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think I can name him. Uh, oh yeah, we just need the plastic ingot and, and rubies, and we can make the Mark III. But I need, I don't think I have enough titanium for that right now. We're gonna have to go out and get more titanium. Um, okay, let's go do this first. Get all this stuff out of storage. First of all, the important thing. About damn time we got a bed. The sand. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, I can actually sleep. Ah, how nice. Oh, sleep until day. I like that. Okay, cool. Feels good, man. It's the first time I've slept since I've started exploring this world. Oh, what? Oh, we can't put them on top. It's just janky and weird. Okay. Hey! 
Excuse me, chat. Boop. No, put something else like up there. Hell yeah. I should put that back there too. Cool. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Oh my lord. Okay. <laughs> 